All right, so uh, we're going to do some more uh, remote sensing based analysis in QGIS, but we're going to specifically focus on using the Orfeo toolbox. Um, so Orfeo is its own uh, set of tools for remote sensing and image analysis, but it has been integrated into QGIS. So we're going to use it through QGIS as opposed to as a standalone tool. Okay, so first off, um, I'm going to talk in this uh, video about how you would go about installing this and getting it to work with QGIS. Okay, so this is the documentation website for the tool. So as you can see here, it has installation instructions, um, the interface, the API, and um, there's also, uh, let's see here, under... I guess the API. Um, there's documentation for every single tool that um, that's made that's available. I think it's all applications actually. There's a lot. So in short, there's a lot there. Um, if you go to the download page, you can install it. Note there's builds for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Um, what I installed was a 64-bit um, Windows version because that's what I have available. And then, so you still have to install this tool. Even um, if you, it's, even if you like turn it on in QGIS, because all QGIS is doing is referencing it. So you're still going to need to download and install the tool in order to actually use it. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. You go to the download page, you uncompress the file folder, and then um, you're going to end up with a, f a set of files. So I'll show you where mine ended up on my local machine. So I uh, extracted the files out and I dumped them here um, in just my C drive, like uh, C open. So um, I have two versions of it. Um, what I'm using now is the most recent version as of t uh, the time of this uh, recording, which is June 18th, 2020. So um, I just uncompressed the, the download and put it in this location. And if you go in here, you can see all the components. So you have the, the bin and uh, the lib folder. So if you're used to like downloading toolkits and whatnot in like a Windows environment, you're probably used to this setup. Okay, so the tool exists on my machine. Um, note that I did have some issues getting it to uh, work in QGIS without any issues. Um, uh, some of the more recent builds, there's been some compatibility issues. I think it's because it uses a different version of like the proj library. Um, so I had to download the most recent version of QGIS, which is uh, 3.14, and it seemed to work fine in that version, but not 3.12. So um, there's a couple little tricks, um, and but good, luckily there's lo lots of help online if you if you run into a specific issue. Okay, so once you um, actually have the Orfeo toolbox on your computer then the next thing you're going to have to do is make sure it's linked up with QGIS. So note here I'm in QGIS 3.14 and if you go into settings and then options um, and then followed by processing this will have links to some of the um, like uh, third-party toolkits and whatnot. So we're going to go into this providers option here and you can see some of my lists, uh, list here of some of the per, um, the third-party providers. So I have GDAL, GRASS, Saga, uh, this last tools, which is for working with uh, uh, LiDAR and laser scan data, and then this OTB, that's the or or Orfeo toolbox. Okay, so I'm going to click on this drop-down. And note to actually use it, you're going to have to make sure it's activated and you're also going to have to set some file paths so this application folder needs to be directed to this to the subfolder lib otb and then applications um to change it if you click on it here you can go to add and then so here's my build and then lib and then otb and then application so you just want to connect to that folder i'm going to cancel cuz i already have connected it and then, uh, and then the second folder is just the, f the folder that contains all the tools. So it's just the, the main folder. So you have to make sure you establish those links so, knows where, so QGS knows where to go to get these tools. 
um, and then make sure you click activate. Notice you can also link to SRTM tiles, so that's shuttle radar topographic mapping mission files, so it's basically some DEMs. Um, I think if you're going to do something like ortho rectification, that can be used in that process. You can also set a maximum RAM usage. I just left it to, to default there. Okay, so mine should be linked up. Um, and then if I hit, well, I'm not going to hit anything because I didn't change it, I'm just going to hit cancel. Um, once it's installed, um, you should get another um, drop down here of OTB tools. So, um, and here's a bunch of sub tool boxes. And if you use a different version of this, you're likely going to have different set of tools as things change. But I'm just going to point out a few like, broad categories. So we have um, tools for doing hyperspectral image analysis. I'm not going to look at any of those in this course. Image filtering, I'll show you a couple examples of that. General image manipulation. This learning is um, basically image classification tools. So things like uh, machine learning algorithms and, and uh, training and predict prediction toolkits. There's a toolkit for SAR, synthetic aperture radar data. Um, image segmentation for like geographic object-based image analysis, and then working with vector data, working with stereo images. Okay, so um, if you run into any issues installing this, I think the first thing to do is make sure the versions line up right, and you don't have a you know a, a versioning issue, and also make sure you've connected to the correct folders. Um, if you do that, you should have what you need to uh, to run the tools.